G'day, I'm Evan. I am Managing Director of Stupid Old Studios here in Melbourne. We are a video production company that focuses on comedy, but we're also a creative hub that houses a bunch of different comedians and artists in the space. We have a video production studio downstairs and we have a podcast studio upstairs that we've just added these Canon PTZ cameras to for uh, video podcasts. When we built the podcast studio, there was a big focus on just making it really easy for people to come in and use. A lot of the people that come and use the podcast studio are comedians or artists who don't have a lot of that tech experience. So when we initially started putting cameras in the podcast studio, we were just using little mirrorless cameras on little tripods and just sort of putting them wherever they sort of fit. But it was a pretty cumbersome solution because people would sit in different places or you would set it up and then they would move around and we didn't want to have camera operators in there all the time operating the cameras. So we put three of the CRN 500 PCZ cameras in our podcast studio. It was really easy to integrate these cameras into our existing setup. Um, because we already use NDI for a bunch of other stuff and these cameras have NDI HX built right in. So we were able to just plug them into the network to give them power, video and control over the one cable. It's been great having Broden and Tom recording their video podcast with these cameras. I love scrolling past, uh, past their posts on Instagram and seeing how great it looks once they put it out. Auntie Donna used our space as sort of an office and sometimes a rehearsal space and sometimes to shoot stuff. And so when Broden and Tom wanted to start an AFL podcast, they uh, naturally chose to record it here. In the past when the Auntie Donna podcast or any other podcast we've made video content because our audience wanted to see it, we've usually had to bring in high level cameras and shoot on you know, film cameras for a lot of our content. It took a lot of time, it took a lot of work to actually do it. The ability to just walk into here and have one, two, three cameras that are shooting premium 4K quality content that's just ready to go, that's downloadable, that can be shared out to our socials team, edited and put up, is so valuable. So the benefits of shooting in 4K is one, it's super easy to cut in. Secondly, you can shoot for landscape, but you can cut in for verticals and you can make the footage work for any of your platforms or any social media. It has a one inch sensor which gives you that nice sort of shallow depth of field look, which even in a small space is, is just a nice effect to have. It gives you that sort of more premium kind of look. It also has Canon's dual pixel autofocus with face detection, which works really, really well. It just locks onto people's faces and it focuses sharp on that. And we, we never have to worry about whether a shot's in focus, if people are moving around, it just locks on and it's perfect. The coolest thing for me is the remote. Move it left to right, move it up and down. Zoom in and out, autofocus, very good. The footage that the cameras actually capture is just naturally quite beautiful and really nicely balanced with colour. Um, with these Canons, it's just nice to begin with, so we don't have to do any work grading it too much. A system like these remote PTZ cameras allows us to do all sorts of things we just couldn't do before. For example, we can set up presets, so if, uh, if we have the same podcast coming in every week to record, they can all be sitting in the same seats and we can just load up a preset to have perfectly framed shots ready to go. We can set them up to work as a webcam basically, so if people are bringing in remote guests, which is happening so much more often these days, they can get a nicely framed, nice beautiful shot for the remote guests to see. And we can rely on it for 24-7 operation, we don't have to worry about it, they're always on. They're always in focus. It's really opened my eyes as to how great PTZ cameras can be and how easy they can be to integrate into other workflows. We do a whole lot of different stuff here at Stupid Old Studios. Now I'm thinking about all the different ways we could integrate it into other shoots that we do, like live comedy shoots on location, being able to get remote control cameras into tight spaces is a really cool thing to be able to do. And because they shoot C-Log3, we'll be able to color grade them to match other cameras in the workflow and get a really premium look out of them. The show we made, we started in March, we're about six months in now. It's averaging about 100,000 downloads per month. It's charting in the top five for sport podcasts across Australia. Podcasting is such a competitive market, and if you have really high quality videos that you can share out, not only does it make you reach more people, but when putting yourself out there for brand alignments or for advertising or for literally just making your podcast feel like a legitimate platform, it's a really efficient, modern, clever way to stand out. It's just, um, it makes you look like as good as the best in the business. <laughs>